What's up, Internet? Jason Ingles of Big J's Extreme Fitness. Today is the 8th of March, 2012, and today's topic is how to combat a lagging body part. And the bottom line is train the worst first. An awesome trainer kind of directed me in this manner years and years ago, but I really took it and ran with it uh, because I, I'm going to plug the Hodge twins here. They just had a video on a guy asking, okay, I can squat 315 pounds 15 times, but I still have small legs. That was my problem 10 to 12, about 18 to 20 years ago. I could squat four or 500 pounds in the hole deep, uh, but little bitty twig legs. And a couple of guys that were professional bodybuilders at the time told me, man, you're doing it all wrong. You need to increase your reps. And I thumbed up the Hodge Twins video by saying, yes, I agree. The legs, and this is not really about your legs, but I just want to say this real quick. The legs are something that you use all day long. If you go into the gym and do three sets of five, heck, you did that before you even got in your car to go to work that morning. So you really have to tax those humongoloid muscles. Legs are giant. They're big. Okay, so you really have to hit them hard. So if you're doing 315 for 15 reps, go up five more. Do 20 reps. Okay, do it to where you can't even stand up. Hit the leg press real heavy. Do your lunges with heavy weight. You know, B-Play Ray just put an awesome video out. Uh, six or eight months ago, he was lunging with 315 the right way. Uh, good job, Big Play Ray. And again, good video, uh, Hodge Twins. Really not a leg workout video or leg training video, but I just want to say nine out of ten of you guys, and you want to build your physique to look like bodybuilders, or some of you bodybuilders are getting on stage, your legs are small, okay? You're not going to win contests with big, giant, huge shoulders, arms, chest, and Maybe your back looks good and your legs look like twigs. You're going to have to put those leg workouts at the first of the week because who takes a weekend off and just cannot wait to get to the gym on Monday? You know, a lot of us do. So why not train the body part that is lagging the most first with the most intensity and the most enthusiasm? And it doesn't have to be the legs. If you've got small arms compared to your shoulders, hit your arms first. If you've got small shoulders compared to your chest, hit your shoulders first. So that goes without saying, any body part that's smaller than the rest of your body, you really need to go ahead and implement that into the first part of your workout. And that's pretty much it for that. And another thing, real fast, uh, Strongman Seth. I know everybody's wondering where Strongman Seth was instead of even asking questions about the video. His and I schedule do not match. He works during the day, I work during the night. I'm going to work when he's getting off work, so he's training at another facility. There's no hard feelings. I love Seth. We talk every day. He's actually running the strongman event for me, so there's nothing going on between us, so don't try to make it anything. A real quick announcement. Oh, oh, what is that? Is that an old House of Pain hat on top of my head? You see that, Rick? I need a new one. Bring me a good one down. I'll buy it. Just bring me a good one. Uh, I just got back from the t-shirt shop. It's going to be Aaron's Designs of Red Oak. Aaron's Designs, I'm plugging their channel, or plugging their, their business. Uh, they've done a lot of my shirts before. They did some of my old Big J's Extreme Fitness shirts and some of my older, older shirts. I've been in business for almost 20 years. So uh, they're working on a design. It's going to be awesome for the contest, guys. It's awesome. I'm going to have, uh, maybe I shouldn't take, no, I'll go ahead and tell you because I can't keep a secret. Uh, I have a big hand gripper on the top, right in the top middle. I've got a strong man doing something down here. Uh, I think he's flipping a tire. And then I've got a power lifter over here uh, doing deadlifts. Of course, the weight's just bending down to the ground. It's a lot. And it's going to be like in a black and white, black shirt with white letters, T-shirt with a shadowy uh, look. You know, so it'll be real, I don't know, just cool looking. And on the back, I'm going to have some of the, or all of the events. So it'll say grip and then what you did for grip. Strong man, what you did for strong man, and then powerlifting, what you did for powerlifting. But, uh, like, man, it's coming together. I got the entry forms. I've got another company, On Time Designs. I'll plug those guys. Uh, thanks a lot for all your help. I'm going to do posters. I'll send those to all the local gyms because I want as many competitors as possible. Getting the uh, entry forms ready to send out. Remember, send me, go ahead and send me a self addressed stamp, stamp envelope to uh, Big J's Extreme Fitness at 421 Highway 342, Red Oak, Texas, 75154. I don't have the entry forms yet, but I will send them out to you. And what we'll be doing is money orders. I'm not gonna do PayPal. I've been burned so many times. I'm not taking personal checks, but I will do a money order. The amounts of the T-shirts and the DVDs and the entries will be at the bottom. You'll tear that off and you'll send that in with your self-addressed uh, stamped envelope. Uh, it'll have your shirt sizes, what you want, how many shirts you want, how many DVDs that you want, etc. 
uh, the food that I talked about will be there. I've had three companies fall through in the last day. So if we make it to the Brookshire parking lot, they have a food court inside too. If you guys are hungry, you can go in there. But again, Rick, look at my hat, man. It's so old and tired. I think I need a new one. Thanks a lot for all your support, guys. Okay, guys, I was just about to load this video and I had to, I had to look at some stuff. I have over 20, almost 30 comments and personal messages uh, on my channel saying, hey man, what the what the heck, Big J, man? You took uh, my favorite video out of your, your deal. You changed my icon. You took it off of your favorites. Uh, your video channel's messed up. You don't have my comments anymore. Hey, I didn't touch it, okay? I never did like what YouTube was doing with the new channel. Hence me never changing over until obviously today. I guess it was a mandatory deal. I will have to take some time out to manage my videos and my top channels, etc. You guys don't get your feelings hurt. I own three businesses, okay? I work 20 plus hours a day and barely sleep any. Plus, I have to get my workouts in. Plus, I do these videos for you guys for free. I'm not a partner. I do this because I want to help. So don't get your feelings hurt. Don't get mad. And I, I replied back to all of you guys. It's not my fault. I'm not doing it on purpose. I love all you guys. I appreciate the support. I can't get to all your questions and comments as quickly as they come in because I get at least 200 a day, if not more, and I try to answer about 20 to 30, okay? So, again, I'm going to go back and look at everything on the channel. I'll try to negotiate it. I'm not I'm not real computer savvy. I'm gonna... One quick shout-out goes to Matty Fasaro. I hope I didn't mess up your name, brother. Matty Fasaro or Matt Fasaro. Uh, he just put up a video, and he gave me a shout-out. Uh, and you know, I don't like watching videos over two or three minutes long and I know mine are getting longer and longer and I apologize uh, But I have just so much information. I want to relay to you guys, but his video was like 10 minutes and I was like oh, Man, I really don't want to watch it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't get mad and when I started watching it was Captivating the first minute and a half. I was like, okay, this is a pretty good video There's a little bit background background music. He was telling a true life story I wasn't bored because I'm subscribed to him and his story was touching, okay? I want you guys to go, and I can't even remember which one it was. It was a question and answer jam session number one. I think it was Just Ask Matty. So check it out. It's an awesome story, Matt. Congratulations for your success. Stop ringing. Freaking phone won't stop ringing. He was a heavy kid, just like a lot of us bodybuilders were. Kids were making fun of him. He was unhappy. He had a t-shirt on all the time in the pool. Smiling on the outside, but sat on the inside. I mean, that's 90% of the bodybuilders. The main reason we got into bodybuilding is because we looked like crap before we started working out. So go check his channel out. This is a shout out to you, Matt. This is almost more than a shout out than I've ever given to anybody because I really liked your video. And I want you guys to go check it out. So Matt, congratulations. Good job. Keep up the good work, brother. Great channel you've got there. Right, intensity rules, train hardcore. We'll see you next video.